News is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa, Nail and Barber Shops, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical, and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. Stand and recognize the late Emmett Keynes. It's, it's certainly a pleasure and very much appreciated that the association would think on doing this in honor of my late husband. Of course, you know, football was his number one sport. Um, I, I, I am still yet to understand. So most of my talking with him with sports would be cricket, softball or basketball. But um, I try to accommodate him and look at it with him. You know, because that's his life. And I had to enjoy a lot of stories about trips that they made, you know, to the different islands and what they encountered. But, you know, this was something that he loved daily. And I know he's, he's looking down and he would be so much appreciative of this as I am for him. So I thank the association very much for doing this in his honor. Emmett Keynes had a 17-year active involvement in the BVI Football Association between 1975 and 1992. As a player, he was a sweeper back for many teams during his career, including police in the 70s, and Emmett was a player manager on teams that he formed, such as the Queen City Strikers and the Popeye Bombers. He was also a part of national teams during the 70s and represented the territory in games at home and in St. Martin, St. Croix, and St. Thomas. In 1986, Emmett was the manager of the national team that won the Leeward Islands football tournament in Montserrat. Come on, give him a round of applause. Emmett also went on to manage the national team for 11 years and accompanied teams to other countries, including Antigua and Barbuda, Curacao, St. Kitts Nevis, and the Cayman Islands. After his retirement from football and he was no longer a member of the BVIFA, he remained as a consultant to the association and could be counted on to assist in whatever he was asked to do. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars and power are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future. 
but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life, we will live well.